Welcome back guys. Today we're gonna to be going through a full pull workout. This is a well-balanced workout for your entire back. Your lats, rhomboids, traps, rear delts, and biceps. So let's get stuck into it. First up, I'm starting out with a single arm dumbbell row. I've chosen to start with an exercise that places the most tension on the lats in the peak contraction or the fully shortened position, as opposed to something like a machine row or a pull down. As I've noticed, I've been getting less overall blood flow to my lats and less of that mind muscle connection or sensation to them in my training. Now, both of those things are completely subjective measurements just for me personally that don't actually translate translate specifically to more or less muscle building overall. There'll be plenty of times where you don't have a strong sensation to the target muscle or don't swell up with a gigantic pump all the time. But it's something that I've noticed more recently that shouldn't necessarily be the case. And adding in movements like this that load up the fully shortened position will always give you a stronger sensation and more metabolite accumulation or blood flow that will carry on to the rest of the workouts. Next, I did lat pull downs. This could easily be replaced with a single arm cable pull using a similar setup or a high cable row if you don't want to rearrange your entire gym. While the dumbbell row was a biased a little bit more towards the upper thoracic lat regions, this pull is more focused on the lower lat regions. As you can see, the line of pull lines up better with those fibers. This is how I do pull downs for lats as opposed to pull downs for upper back, which is what I did next. Here, I'm thinking about pulling the handles apart in the first portion of the pull, then squeezing my elbows back together in the second portion of the pull. This has my elbows traveling in an arcing motion around my torso through the range of motion and maximizes the motion at my shoulder blades for the upper back muscles. I use similar cues when doing the upper back row on the cable machine as well. So due to the large surface area we're dealing with and the different muscle groups and line of pulls of the muscles of the back, it's important to use a variety of angles in your training. I mix this up quite a bit, but today I'm using the elevated cable row to put me on a low to high line of pull to contrast the high to low line of pull from the upper back pull down. So across all exercises, I worked up to a challenging eight reps, then I performed one extra set, finishing with a rest pause set. So what this is, is I'd perform my set of eight reps, then I'd take about 15 seconds rest and do another set for as many reps as possible, which was usually between three to four more reps. I finished up with just one move for biceps, the incline dumbbell curl. Really not much to say at this point. I like these because they're training the muscle in a lengthened position and I'll probably do other biceps work, maybe on cables on another training day. So this workout is a great standalone pulling workout. It pretty much covers all of your back muscles. The only big exception being the spinal erectors, which I'll train more directly on my posterior chain day when I do Romanian deadlifts and hyperextensions. You can use this as a supplemental workout to your current training or as its own primary base day. I'd start with the sets and reps prescribed, but feel free to adjust it as you need to over time. And if you want to take the guesswork out of your training completely, sign up to the free trial to my website, Gambaru Method, where you can get access to all of my programs, workouts, and educational content. You'll find a link in the description box below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.